Shua putting the ooh in Shua. The tones, the the tones, especially with Sujin and Minnie, were hitting me with some mm, some real nice sounds. Ooh. Ooh. Oh fuck yeah! Woo! It's Chain Reactions, it's G Idol, Lion, long overdue, I know. Uh, thank you, Neverland, for your patience uh, and your hate mail. Uh, I'm just kidding. But uh, shout out to F and Tomboy on Twitter who has been in touch with me and we've been talking about Lion, so let's get into it. putting the ooh in Shua. Um, yo, there's a lot going on right now, so I'm just going to pause to make sure I don't forget anything. So, welcome to my G-Idle videos. They give me a lot to talk about. So, seeing a theme, we'll go through it in the, the second replay where I'll try to, you know, break things down and, and talk about them in a little more detail, but definitely seeing a lot of uh, juxtaposed imagery between opulence and simplicity. We've got expensive sets, expensive backgrounds, some expensive outfits, but also very simple muted color outfits being barefoot. Um, a lot of talk about uh, animalistic things and and there's you know a lot of imagery about um, injury and, and fighting and combat and we've got shields and we've got weapons. So there's a lot going on here, a lot of juxtaposition of simplicity and opulence of royalty and um, you know, ferocity, almost a feral kind of thing, which is the duality of a lion. It's it's a wild animal. It's a predator, uh, an apex predator, I think technically, um, but also uh, known as a, as the king and queen of the jungle. So very very dope um, concept. Queens, of course. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll yeah. But look at Shua. Hey. Ooh, I like his lyrics. Ooh. Uh, 
I just, I wanted to, uh, ah, ah, it's g -Idol. I'm going to pause. Leave me alone. Um, the, I love, first off, the B, I love that. I love the B. I love the instrumental. I love the way that the, the chorus works with the instrumental. And then we have that ba, ba, ba part. Just very, very cool. They're doing a lot of different things. There's a lot going on. It's, um, it's got a nice, it's got an up tempo for the, for the chorus too. the choreography. It's blending uh, graceful moves with interpretive kind of moves with these, again, this, this kind of feral, animalistic kind of inspiration. Not like a lot of K-pop. Um, it's not like that hip-hop based dance. It's, 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 it's very artistic. Um, and not that other groups can't do that, but this is standing out to me. Oh, and fuck Jesus. Uh, fuck Jesus. <laughs> Well, I said it. Uh, <laughs> uh, the tones, the the tones, especially with Sujin and Minnie, were hitting me with some mm, some real nice sounds. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You can, oh, hey, Paul, leave the channel then, because we let we run Soyons versus twice. That's what we do on this channel. Ooh, I love the empty pause. Build it up. <laughs> yes, and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about the lyrics later. But... Mm. Okay. Yes. Love that AO. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Hey. Ooh, we got a little growl in the background. Okay. Yo. Is that it? Oh, jeez. Okay. Whoa, uh, whoa. So definitely some common three theme themes. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm a mess. Uh, I'm a queen like a lion. Um, but so, a stuck in my head already. B love what they did um, melodically. I love the way that they they had the the beat. What they did with the vocals, the way that they had the ba 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 part after the chorus, which was kind of an up tempo. I love the soft, just magnetic uh, vocal at the beginning with Minnie and at the end with Sujin kind of bookending it because I think it was the same exact lyrics, but we'll we'll, double, we'll verify. Um, but having that uh, at the beginning and at the end and it starts that way and then it ends, it's a different look though. She's manhandling a background dancer's head and they're mounting them like they're animals. Also, shout out to the background dancers who really sold that interpretive, animalistic. We had the we had the floor choreo, Florio, if you will. Um, loved all of that. So let's run through that and uh, let's hope I didn't miss too much. I try not to pause a lot. 
I know people are like, oh, just pause, but I still feel bad because I know people also just want to see the music video, but enough, let's run through this. So, something that I noticed, uh, shitload of, the uh, of themes here. I really can't say the word themes today. Uh, shitload of themes with um, framing. We have literal frames framing them. Uh, a lot of weaponry and a lot of very interesting uh, kind of set pieces. So here we have Minnie. Obviously, love the vocals a lot. That tone is... That's not what I know many uh, for doing in my in my limited time uh, in Neverland. So that was very cool, very nice tone, very rich. They, that's that vocal charisma, that that concept I make up that isn't a real thing, but one day I hope it is. Uh, where it's 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 just like you can have stage presence. People want to see you. People want to see what you're doing. You have that star quality. You can have that in vocals, where it's not necessarily that you're belting. It's not necessarily that you're rapping a certain way, but the way that that you're singing, the way that you're rapping, the way that you're talking, it makes people focus on you. It makes people want to hear more of what you have to say. And I think that Minnie is, is she's given us that right, right here, real strong. Um, we have the arrows, obviously, besieged, under attack, surrounded by them, yet untouched. Um, framed literally by a frame uh, of an art piece, but she's also on a platform that you would see in a museum or something like that where they would put a sculpture or or a display or something and then she's not really moving much here it's one of the few shots where they're kind of staying still so it's almost she's an art piece she's an installation she's also dressed down she's wearing uh something very simple a dark color no shoes that's not typical for a k-pop video um, so the, an expensive looking background, the weapons, her being dressed simply, her also being potentially a sculpture or something like that, talking about not being confined. So that's interesting. Mm. Love it. Mm. Oof, beautiful. And then we have Big Gyan here. It looks like it's the same background, this blue and gold. Still a rich background. We now have a chandelier, and then we literally have her behind bars, which is ironic because it's Big Yan. She's going to drop some bars on us, if you know, you know, um, which of course you do because most of you have already seen this video, but also we just watched it. So um, I think that's really interesting. And then the lyrics are also cool. Talking about flowers burning. I know that's something we've talked about before. That again, she's she's on. She's also dressed down, wearing something very simplistic. I can't tell if she's barefoot. I think she is. Yeah. Um, and she's on all fours. She's crawling. She's doing this like kind of claw thing. Again, that animal like a caged lion. If you've been to the zoo, it's extremely depressing. Um, but she's she's ferocious. She's she's uh, regal. She's caged talking about fire burning you know that's that could be passion that could be anger also looking good fuck it i'll say it and then we've got um ooh, i don't want to see that i don't want to see wounds on my ladies uh, uh, so here we have another, a frame, an art piece. It's not centered though. She's not framed, but it is again, rich background, expensive stuff, candelabra on the ground, uh, gold furniture. Everything's expensive. Everything's looking rich except for her. She is looking good, but wearing something very simple, muted, barefoot again. However, she does have the um, gold, I don't know what those are actually called, but they look like claws. And then she literally goes like this, and it's like she's wearing a crown of gold, which I think is a cool touch. Talking about our wounds burning up. Mm. And then of course, royalty herself. Uh. I just love the way I love that tempo. I love this cadence of this part right here. What what uh, what uh, Mian and Yuki do is just it's gold, uh, for lack of a better term. What a good shot! This whole video is good shots. So this carries the theme again. We have uh, a little different though because Mian's a princess. She is royalty. So 
we're gonna dress her up nice um <laughs> but uh we have this part where they're dancing uh they're all dressed down wearing these muted simple things barefoot all that stuff but we're cutting away to these shots of me on anuki dressed rich lots of gold lots of opulent stuff i can't tell what's behind princess me on here i think i can't remember what these are called they're like spears, but they have like a long dagger at the end instead of, so it's not just a spear. I don't know if it has a special name. I feel like it does, and I'm can't, I can't remember. So she has those behind her fanning out. If you know Renaissance art, they do, um, the way that they do halos a lot of times is like those rays of light kind of like in the background. It's like a behind instead of like a ring above their head. So it's kind of like that, which we are also going to see with Uki. Uh, so she has that. It's weapons going outwards, right? And then we have, oh, she's framed again, perfectly framed by a gold frame, except this frame is holding arrows that are all facing inwards. So we've got defensive weapons out almost, of offensive weapons in. She's on the defensive, perhaps. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but she's perfectly framed similar to, to Minnie being surrounded by arrows coming at her under attack or what have you, and then that's juxtapo uh, juxtaposed with her wearing that red, rich-looking outfit with the jewelry to here, uh, still looking amazing. It's not like they don't look good, but they are definitely dressed down, barefoot, no jewelry, much simpler. So that's, you know, the dichotomy there. Ooh, what a good shot. And then, of course, we have Uki coming in here. And this is literally like the Renaissance kind of Halos race style thing. And then of course we have this gold, uh, the, the looks like, I don't know if these are velvet, but these gold like curtains, uh, blue curtains behind her, gold chains, the gold frame, perfectly framed. Then it's very similar to the Mion shot. It's just different stuff. Instead of weapons, it's just gold. So, and then she's literally wearing gold and chains. So uh, they're all kind of doing that theme, except now maybe they're getting richer Hey. And I love this. Okay. I love that. Like a lion. I'm a queen like a lion. Fucking tell him. Mmm. Yo, I love that move too. Okay. This right here. Come on. Too much. And then this. I'm glad Shua got her rest and uh, she's she's looking good, looking good here. I know this is years before, but um, shout out to her. She's looking amazing, putting the ooh in Shua. I know it's terrible. I can't help myself. Um, but we got the shields, so the weapon theme again, like marching into battle almost. Her her fierce looking bodyguards. Okay, claws dressed rich though. Ugh, point at me. Hmm. Tell him. And then even just sitting like that on the furniture, on the knees, that's still uh, that's still kind of calling on that imagery of that feral kind of um, concept. So it's almost like she's still dressed rich, got the statues lines, but she's not sitting normally. She's she's up there like she's perched um, on her knees, showing off those dope boots. <laughs> And I, and I love the lyrics here, too. Um, that previous line about the deep, dark ocean, rough melody pierces your ears. I mean, pen on fire. And then I feel like in, in Sujin's solo, there was also her being framed by fingers. So I wonder if her in her solo, that was a callback to this. But her tone here, yes. Mm. And then Minnie got rich. Woo. Oh my goodness. I mean, just my goodness. Woo. Look at them. They look fucking amazing. Mm. Love this tempo, man. And I love the lyrics here too. I got caught up. I just I am mean, just enjoying this. <laughs> but looking in my eyes, feeling threatened by the music. I mean, is that a day in the life of G Idol or what? People being threatened by the music. 
trapped in the burning hot rhythm and devote a lion's dance? Hey. Ah, oh, love this shit. Yes. Fucking that move right there. Art. And then we do that A O that first off, that nice tone, Shua. Thank you. Look at them. God damn, look at these fierce, fierce individuals. And then I love that Soyons in the back, giving them this spot, giving them this moment to just be these fierce queens because Soyon was like, well, I'll be in the back right here because she's about to be literally on a platform. And I love that pause for that for that dramatic effect. Then of course we've got Soyon. She's she's got this hard delivery. It starts slow. She's enunciating very clearly. She's 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 got some punch behind it, and then she builds us up as she always does to get us where we need to go. So, um, by now your useless courtesy. Okay. Uh, tear down your suffocating prejudice. Love that. Yes. And look at this fierce. Just she's just serving this ferocity. I just mm, I love it. Uh, who would dare to stop me? Dare to control me? Careful with these motherfucking claws. That's why you're lucky she's behind these bars, even though she could clearly fit through those. Claws. Create a new path no one has attempted before. Yes. Talk your shit. Condescending people. Like this is literally just a verse about what I've seen G Idol go through just since I became a fan. And I love this part so much. I'm gonna let it run through again, as I know you're like, what the fuck? Um, but she's commenting on the fact that she's trying new things, doing new things that other people haven't done or that they're scared to do or whatever. There's prejudice, there's there's judgments, there's all this shit. And then she does it anyway. First off, that's a flex because she doesn't give a fuck. But then she gets praised for it because it fucking works and people like it and they resonate with it. And then she gets the applause from the people that she wants the applause from. Fuck the haters. She probably converts some along the way and I'm sure they're welcome. But even the people, they can keep hating because the people that she wanted to touch, the people she wanted to connect with, the people that she wanted to reach, they're the ones applauding. <laughs> Okay. And the applause that she receives after breaking that prejudice is the thrill that that's what she's chasing. That's the high that she's after, and that's what she fucking does. That's Big Yon. Uh. <laughs> Love that. So that also is a call to, again, animals. The thing, I don't even know if it's real, but the, the stereotype or like the common thing that people like to say with like animals, you know, wolves, dogs, lions, sharks, whatever, is that once they get a scent or a taste of the blood, you can't stop them. They're going to find you. They're going to hunt you. That's their motivation because when you taste blood, when you see blood, when you smell blood, that's when you know you made a mark. That's when you know you broke through. You got something. They're hurt. Now they're ready to be finished off. And that is pretty much what she's fucking doing. She says, Share, be careful of her sharp claws, right? And then she's got a taste. Now she can't deny it. She's a queen. She knows she's a queen. All your hate is going nowhere because she's already gotten the recognition from the people that she wants the recognition from. And she doesn't care about what the other people say. And she's not denying it. You're not going to deny it. And if you do, you're wrong. She's a queen. Done. Mic drop. Mmm. And then the, oh, oh, just more excellent framing. And now we've got, is it Tiara or a Tiara? Um, now we're actually, we have the royal jewelry coming into it. Minnie wears it as well. Sujin's got it. Hey, that's right. Mm. Oh, they all got one. Okay, perfect. I love that. I love that imagery of wearing the gold on your fingers and making your own gold crown. I think that is just so fucking cool. Just so fucking cool. That's right. Hey. Surf that face, Mion. Goddamn princess. Hey. Okay, there we go. Mmm. And 
Shout out to the background dancers again. They killed it. All of them. Everyone on that. Everyone in that frame right there. Each of these OT6 uh, superstars and these background dancers. Everybody here fucking murdered it. And then we had that low rumbling of the lion, and I'm guessing that's still Sujin, uh, unless that's just some editing tricks, but she was down on the ground, so I'm assuming that's her again. And then we're zooming out. Again, one final gigantic frame. Another theme of fire, which Giedel really likes, and then the lion, of course. Just... <sighs> just incredible. Just, I mean, that, that was art. That... That might be my favorite, uh... Yeah, I, that that was really good. That was really, really good. I'm trying not to have the recent... I'm feeling like this is my favorite uh, G-Idle thing. Um, I don't know if I'll feel that way long term. I know there's a lot more to come, but I really, really love that. This is an incredibly long video. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's a 20... <laughs> it's a 25 plus minute video on a three and a half minute song. So... If you're still here, thank you. My average uh, video view length is like four minutes. So um, for the two of you who are still here, probably hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching with me. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I misinterpreted, misunderstood, or if Soyan did an interview and said some stuff, because um, I know that she's very intentional. So I might have been off the mark. I might have overthought. I might have underthought. Let me know what you think. I thought this was fucking dope. This was fire. I'm a queen, you're a queen like a lion. We're all queens like lions. Um, what is it, a pride? We're a pride of lions. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I love you, Neverland. And until next time, stay fresh.